As a class rep, you're an ambassador who represents a group of students within your school. So part of your role involves liaising with your elected school rep, sabbatical officers and use of staff. The other part of your role involves working with staff in your school and perhaps other areas of the university. Student staff liaison committee meetings, called SSLCs, are usually held once or twice per term. They're the formal way for you and other class reps to provide feedback on your course or programme. Before the SSLC meeting, your school office or teaching organisation will send you an agenda outlining the plan for the meeting and some issues that staff want to talk about. You can also ask them to add specific issues to the agenda. You should also be in touch with your elected school reps and the other class reps will be attending your SSLC so that you're on the same page ahead of the meeting. You can discuss the agenda and any other issues you want to raise via the discussion boards in the Student Rep Forum on Learn, via email or at a school council meeting. If you cannot make the meeting, it is essential that you tell the staff you can't attend by sending your apologies in advance, and it's helpful if you can include any comments about the agenda items so staff are aware of them. During the SSLC meeting, you should present the student opinions and feedback you have gathered in an accurate, balanced, depersonalised and constructive manner. If possible, try to back your statements up with evidence, such as anonymous quotes from students, statistics from feedback and explicit cases of an issue arising. Regardless of how strongly you feel about the issue at hand, you should be calm and clear while presenting this information. Where possible, you should present solutions to the problems your class has faced, since this provides a strong basis for discussion. If you do this, you can be confident that your views will be taken seriously and acted upon where possible to make a difference for the students you're representing. You should also ask those in the meeting to have clear explanations of why decisions are being taken so you can pass on that information to your peers. After the meeting, it is important to share the outcomes with the students you represent. You can do this verbally, by email, by commenting on USA or on social media. It's important to use more than one of these methods to reach as many students as you can. You should also feel able to follow up with staff if the agreed changes are not being delivered on time or as you expected. Outside of SSLCs, you can raise any issues as they arise with your tutors, course organiser or programme director. You have the right to email them directly. It's good to resolve issues as soon as they arise if possible, so it's important not to wait for SSLC meetings if you can make a difference sooner. If you're struggling to implement any of the changes you're suggesting within your school, speak with your elected school reps, your vice president academic affairs, or use the staff for advice. You can find their contact details on the user website or on the student rep forum in Learn. Feel free to email us with any questions or post them in the discussion boards on Learn. Once you've made positive changes through working with staff in your school, you should share them with the students you're representing and also with the class rep community via the blogs on Learn where you can earn open badges to receive recognition of your work. We look forward to hearing your success stories.